Hero. Snitches be like. <laughs> Hi Esther, welcome to Kachai. Hi, how are you? As a superhero to Ugandan children, who were your superheroes growing up? I think I looked up a lot to my parents. They were my first superheroes in all ways. Um, their mind reading ways, their everything, but then also because they inspired me to be generous by opening their house to so many people and in the end it affected my siblings and I in the sense that we are always willing to open our doors to other people. It's been five years since 4040 started. What is the closest you came to letting go? The closest, can I say yesterday? <laughs> No, I think it's a constant battle. There are sometimes you get to a point and you're like, oh my goodness, is this still happening? I thought by five years we'd have overcome this and yet it keeps coming up. And so I've had so many moments like that where I really, really want to give up. But then at the same time, I think of everything that I want to do and those children and how far we've come. And it just gives me the resolve to just stay in and hang in one more time. You've been to Paris, London, Nairobi, Kigali. What would you say sets Uganda apart from these places? I love Ugandans in the sense that we are genuine and we love people and we are so unified and so it doesn't matter if someone is your actual relative or whoever they are, we are willing to open our doors to other people, we are our brother's keeper and even if you just find a child in the neighborhood who's crying or needs help, we are there to help them and I think that's something that you don't find everywhere. Esther, what's the biggest misconception people have of you? I think people have a certain view of the work that I do and so they put me in some sort of box in the sense that I should be extremely humble, extremely soft-spoken, you know, not opinionated and this it doesn't only happen to me, it happens to so many people. People just decide to get one view of you and they stick to it and then I think that's so limiting because as human beings we are so multifaceted and you can't just be one thing. So your personality remains whether tomorrow you suddenly become a wrestler or the president, there will still be that you that you cannot take away despite the position that you're in. Okay. Lastly, Esther, how would you like to be remembered? Ha. Huh. I would like to be remembered as someone who went out of her way to make the world a better place and to actually fulfill the purpose for which I was put on this earth for. That was Kachai. Join us next time for more.